Hello everyone, another video about a Adobe app on Android. Um, not a new one this time, it's Photoshop Express, but it's one that got recently updated. And to be honest, um, the functionality in this app is not, um, you know, very advanced or something like that. Uh, I've done a video before on Photoshop Mix, the link to that video will be in the description. A bunch of other things that you can do with that app, so it's um, definitely worth uh, checking out I think but uh, yeah you know this app I think compared to uh, Snapseed for example Snapseed is uh, is one that you can do a little bit more advanced things uh, with uh, so yeah this is pretty straightforward it's really focused on on filters um, and uh, you know just uh, simple stuff but uh, but yeah let's take a look you can um, start right away uh, if you want to you can take a picture uh, with your camera from uh, this this app uh, but you can also get an image from your gallery uh, from the creative cloud and also uh, some assets um, so I'm gonna pick an image from the gallery here and uh, let's see what we can do with it like I said it's not very very advanced uh, the first thing you see are uh, filters here uh, at the bottom and you can basically cycle through them you know or go through them and um, you can select some filters as you can see there are premium options so ones that you have to pay for but um, yeah if you pick a filter you can immediately adapt the way it looks and it will immediately change it so that's uh, yeah like I said pretty straightforward uh, down at the bottom here we have uh, the buttons or toggles to switch between all the options here. This is also really straightforward, it's just cropping. Uh, but you can also rotate your photo. You can flip it in both directions. And you can also pick another size for, for cropping, for example Facebook uh, cover, uh, which is pretty nice. So you immediately have the, have the right size uh, for, for, doing, uh, for, uh, for doing that on your, on your Facebook. All right, and then you have uh, all the settings down here uh, that you can um, that you can change from clarity all the way to vibrance. Uh, so yeah, if you think your photo is a little bit underexposed or overexposed, you can uh, change that a little bit. If you want to make it a little bit darker or or lighter, you can uh, you can decide to, to do that. Um, and all the time, you can you can just simply zoom in to see um, what the difference uh, really is on a more detailed uh, level um, so here this is this is red eye reduction so if you uh, have a have a photo and someone has uh, has red eyes you can you can filter that out uh, apparently they have options for people and pets so uh, your alien friend you know it's probably not gonna work but I haven't tried it out so I'm not gonna say anything about that then you have all kinds of borders apparently people like this you know Sometimes it's fun, depends a little, uh, I think, but, uh, but yeah, you can basically um, uh, select all kinds of borders uh, as well as edges. So if you want these, these nice film, film edges, you can do that as well. Uh, and there are all kinds of uh, frames uh, that you can use if you think it will make your picture a little bit better. And then we have a uh, blemish uh, remove tool. So if there's something that you don't like, you can basically, um, yeah, select that, and then it's going to to see if it's if it's going to work out. For example, on this tree, let's see what I can do here. I basically tap on the screen, and it's kind of removing or trying to remove these 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 spots. Sometimes it takes a it takes a a little while before it applies also really depends I think on on what you what you try to do but you can uh, basically remove dust and stuff like that um, it's it's pretty intelligent I, I guess I mean it's it's Photoshop so they, they probably take some of the of the technology that's in the in the full version of Photoshop and apply it here as well so you have a bunch of uh, options uh, up top here uh, undo and both uh, redo so you can basically um, uh, decide uh, you know quickly quickly see what kind of difference it makes and, and decide what you what you like uh, 
uh, the most. Uh, you also have an auto enhance uh, option so you can let Photoshop decide what's best for you. Um, you can also quickly compare it to the original. It's pretty nice. And you can see and use everything in full screen so the whole UI basically disappears. Yeah, and then once you're once you're finished, once you once you're happy with with your creation, you can press the share uh, button, and you have options to uh, save it to the gallery, to Creative Cloud, uh, CC Library, or you can immediately share it uh, with your friends, or for example, Instagram. Right. So that's it. Like I said, pretty straightforward. It's it's not it's nothing special really. You know, if you like filters, or you you know you want to uh, 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 crop your photo a little bit, you know, kind of. Kind of the the, the small uh, tweaks um, uh, and stuff like contrast and, and things like that. You can you can change that. It's good, but it's not that you can select a, a specific spot uh, of the photo and then uh, change the con uh, the contrast right there. For example, something you can do in Snapseed. So I think that's also worth checking out. Um, the cool thing is you can just get this app on a tablet. This is a Nexus 9 and I was just able to get this from the Google Play Store so there's no need to uh, uh, to get an APK from some source and then install it. Uh, so yeah, that's that's nice from Adobe. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.